So, here's a close-up of my uh, back to Eden garden project. And I would think you would probably say, it hasn't worked. Well, actually, I'm just having you on. That's the part on the side. This is the back to Eden garden project. And uh, that over there is the patch that uh, I didn't uh, put any mulching on. And that's what I would have ac actually would have had to have weeded or volunteers would have to have weeded uh, had we not carried out this process. So you're always gonna get the odd weeds coming through. And usually when you're coming down to harvest, you'll just remove them and they come out quite easy. But it's not a continuous, you know, weeding job. Um, still plenty of zucchini growing down here. The watering system seemed to work, although you get the odd one or two plants. But obviously maybe the branch got broke during harvest. So mainly this is all different assortment of tomatoes. The cucumbers were not overly successful, but that's nothing to do with the, the process that I'm using. This is just the fact that it didn't get tied up properly. You can see the odd cucumber growing on the floor here. Actually, I'll take that, that's ripe. Uh, the peppers are doing quite well and uh, but this is what happens when I don't do any weeding at all this stuff is a real pain I don't know what it's called but it's a real horrible weed and very very difficult to eradicate but in the main channels we're doing okay some nice peppers again a lot of weed here but really didn't plant anything there this is the the main growing areas, uh, main two beds. I experimented with uh, some potatoes, if you remember. Uh, they were just uh, green potatoes that were sprouting, uh, supermarket potatoes, and I, I planted uh, them, six to nine of them, put them in um, wood ash, never watered, never did anything. I did see that there was one or two that took I've uh, not seen them now, but even though I put some uh, string around, uh, I think one of the smaller dogs got in and made a bed on the potato. My uh, watering system, well, it's completely overgrown because I didn't put any mulch here, but I can still get access to the, to the handles. So that's it. I think uh, the, the garden this year is no uh, better or worse than what it would have been if I hadn't have mulched. But all it has done is suppressed uh, the weeds. That keeps me very happy because I really don't like weeding. Okay, you need to do some, but uh, not as much. You know, people spending a couple of hours every day or more weeding and then another hour or so in the evening watering. This I didn't have to do. Um, and I think I'll build on this uh, for the next year's growing season. Um, so uh, one thing I possibly didn't say that uh, in earlier, uh, clips. Yeah, I did say that um, the water comes from the pond, on the underground here and down into this pipe. But there's a lot of fish in the pond, so it's not a tap water. You can you can say it's a fortified water of some description. So it all helps, you know. Everything helps. So we're coming towards the end of the growing season. It is the first of September. Um, we're just harvesting now, and. Uh, when everything has died down, I'll uh, well, I'll, I'll add more uh, straw, hay, weeds, stuff that's rotting down, and uh, let it go for the whole winter. And uh, let's have a look at it again uh, next spring. And hopefully, spring will come nice and early. Again, I said that we started very late this year through different uh, reasons: the weather, my uh, hernia operation set me back and too many other jobs to do but overall I'm very happy so that's going to round up the back to Eden uh, garden project for this year if you have any questions uh, please feel free to ask them uh, if you have any comments uh, where I could do things better I'm more than happy to to list to read and uh, to learn so thank you very much for watching and uh, over and out for now <laughs>